What's up guys? It's Friday and so you know what time it is. It's time for What The Fitness. Let's get them. But first, like the video, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, follow the algorithm. This week we have back on the show, Gary Brecca. This is becoming the Gary Brecca show. And you know what I'm here for? Let's see what Gary has to say this week. Nothing on the surface of the earth that will remove calories from your body or burn fat at the rate that getting in cold water will. If you actually read the story about <laughs> Michael Phelps when he actually went to Beijing to compete in the Olympics, his caloric intake went to 10,000 calories a day. But why did it go to 10,000 calories a day? Not because his training regimen changed, because the pool he was in was four degrees colder than the pool he was used to training in. Water is 29 times more thermogenic than air, meaning water removes heat at 29 <laughs> times the rate of air. When we get into cold cold water, four major things happen. Number one, our liver panics and it floods the bloodstream with something called a cold shock protein. These are miracle proteins. These proteins will scour the body of free radical oxidation. They will quadruple the rate of protein synthesis, muscle repair. The second I thing that happens just is you have a major peripheral numbers. vasospasm. It drives oxygen into the core, forces oxygen into the brain. What other time of our life does this happen? Only in delta wave sleep. The third thing that happens is you have this vasospasm, you drive oxygen into the core, but now heat is flooding out of your body. There is no amount of hits cardio. There's no amount of intense exercise, weight training, nothing even becomes remotely close to the amount of fatty acid metabolism, brown fat activation that you can get from getting in cold water. Dude, this guy, 29 times quadruple brown fat activation, mitochondria, fatty acid oxidation, verbal diarrhea of terms. I am going to address the core of his claim. The core of his claim is that cold water makes you burn more calories and that Michael Phelps had to eat 10,000 calories a day because he was burning so many more calories from being in cold water. If only, you guys know what I'm gonna say, if only there was human randomized control trials to address exactly what he's talking about. Oh wait, there is. And what do they show? There were several looking at exposure to cold water. By the way, his pool, four degrees colder, he said. Okay, so in these studies, they were looking at a much bigger difference, okay? In one of the studies, they were looking at 27 degrees versus 18 degrees, and another study, it was a little bit less of a difference, but still a much bigger difference than four degrees. I don't know if he's referring to Fahrenheit or Celsius. In the scientific literature, we use Celsius, but whatever, who cares? What do they find? Well, most of the studies found that, oh, people didn't burn more calories exercising in cold water than they did in normal temperature water. There was one study that did see about a 60 calorie increase in energy expenditure that I'm not convinced is even real. It could be a data artifact because measuring energy expenditure through an equation like oxygen consumption and CO2 expiration, there's quite a bit of error that can be in there, but let's say it's real. Okay, 60 calories. Let's just take out our trusty calculator and see, let's say Michael Phelps exercised eight hours a day in a pool, eight times 60. 480 extra calories. But Lane, he's not a woman, he's an elite athlete. Okay, so let's say he burned five times more. Not just five times more, but the difference of five times more. So let's say he burned 300 calories, eight hours a day. That's 2,400 calorie difference. Still not even close to Gary's claim. Oh, and by the way, one thing cold water exposure has been shown to do is not increase energy expenditure, but it absolutely has been shown to increase energy intake, interestingly. I'm gonna link a study below. You can see where it doesn't increase energy expenditure, but it actually increases energy intake. It makes you hungry. Probably not the best thing for people trying to lose weight. Michael Phelps, not someone trying to lose weight. He is an elite level athlete with a ton of lean body mass. I know people say, well, he looks kind of skinny. He's also really tall and he does have more muscle mass than most of us. And he is working out continuously pretty much all day. And I doubt he actually ate 10,000 calories. That's another thing. I would love to go through his food logs and see how he consumed 10,000 calories. I wouldn't be surprised if he had days at 10,000 calories. I would be absolutely shocked to my core if he was consuming 10,000 calories consistently each day. 
Now, five, six, maybe even seven, maybe. But let me tell you what, if you're exercising that much, it is almost impossible to physically eat 10,000 calories with the little amount of time he would have had to do it. So I don't even think that claim is valid. Now, I'm sure he did eat a lot more calories because he was expending so much energy because he's an elite level Olympic athlete, not because the pool was four degrees colder, Gary. Again, the research doesn't support what you're saying. I don't give a shit about you talking about cold shock proteins or anything else. We can directly measure what you're talking about. And when we directly measure energy expenditure, we either see no effect of cold water or a small effect of cold water. We do not see 10,000 calories a day, but we do see an increase in hunger and energy intake with cold water. If you want to lose body fat, my recommendation, if you like doing water activities, is to do it in normal temperature water so you won't be more hungry. Here's what I'm not saying. I'm not saying cold water immersion has no benefits whatsoever because here come all my buddy Andrew Huberman's people going, but what about the dopamine response? Hey, listen, that's not my area. Maybe it does have an effect. I'm all for it. Some people love it. Cool, do it. But acknowledge that it's not magic. It is a tool and it seems to actually help recovery, but also it impedes anabolism. So if you are in a sport that needs maximal lean mass where lean mass is a consideration, cold water immersion consistently has been shown to reduce power output, ballistic output, strength in terms of one rep maximum, and the accrual of lean mass and dampened muscle protein synthesis. So again, it is a tool that can be used. It is not freaking magic. The reason people are saying this is because saying shit like this is a lot easier than saying, you know what, you have to pay attention to your diet and go exercise hard, you know, consistently. Nope, bro, just get in a pool that's four degrees colder and watch the fat melt off.